What's up, guys? It's Dave. Um, so somebody gave me a really cool idea, um, and I just wanted to demonstrate it. So this person wanted to build trading strategies based on the open interest. Um, so open interest uh, is basically the number of contracts that are currently open uh, for that specific market, if you will. And it is not something that is currently built into Build Alpha. However, I wanted to show this user how I would go about it, and then they completely expanded on it um, and gave me some new ideas. So essentially, um, what we have here is I just pulled this data from um, TradeStation, which you can get uh, if you have the account, or you can even get it uh, publicly online. I know this information is uh, free. And I just calculated these five other columns um, which is just the open interest change um, from one bar, the open interest change of five bars, uh, 10 bars, 20 bars, and then just arbitrarily the three day sum of the open interest. I have no idea if these values uh, are useful at all. So what I'll do is I'm gonna create two um, separate uh, CSV files that we can feed into Build Alpha. So I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna open up a new tab, I'm gonna control V, copy it in, uh, I'm going to uh, format these date cells because if you remember, Build Alpha only takes year, 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 month, month, day, day data. Um, and again, I'm going to remove the headers. Uh, but again, it's just date, open, high, low, close, volume. Okay, so this is just going to be our raw price data, the market that we want to trade. I'm going to go ahead and save it as such. Um, I'm just going to save it as uh, raw data. And I'm gonna save it as a CSV file because that is um, how Build Alpha uh, accepts data. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm, I have this fancy open interest data that we want to use to build strategy. So I'm just gonna control, uh, hit on the A to uh, select the A column, hit control on these other five columns uh, as I highlight them, control C, copy them, come over, make a new sheet, control V, uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to format the dates again, year, 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 month, month, day, day, and then I'm going to delete the header. So now you can see we have this second data file that has dates, um, and instead of open, high, low, close, volume, we have the one period change in open interest, the five, ten, and twenty period change in open interest, and the three day sum of open interest. Okay, so now I'm going to just save this so we have it, and I'm going to save this as um, OI data for open interest data, and again, it's CSV. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull up Build Alpha, go to this service settings. So for user data one, I'm going to do our um, raw data that we just built. So I have this raw data right here. And that is S&P 500 data, which has a contract multiplier of 50. Again, that's only for futures. Um, and then I'm going to add this open interest data as our second user data. I hit OK. So then I'm going to go ahead and click user data one. And then for market two, I'm going to do user data two, which is our fancy open interest um, data, if you will. Now you could notice that when I selected market two, it ungrade um, these market two signals. So for example, if I have something um, like this, where the close of one bar go on market two is less than or equal to the close of market two four bars ago, remember in our close column, uh, which we have over here in our open interest data, it is the 20 period change in open interest. So it's really not calculating the close, it's using uh, these values. Uh, so it's, it's a really cool way to kind of manipulate. So for example, if we come down here and we have um, RSI on the close of two, the RSI is actually calculating on the 20 period change of open interest now, not uh, the close of some price series. Uh, and again, you can go in and you can create custom indicators even on this open interest data um, which would allow you to do, uh, you know, a number of things. Uh, it's just, you know, I was really impressed with this user, uh, and he gave me a lot of great ideas. So I just wanted to show you guys how you can go ahead and build um, strategies and build alpha with alternative data um, and getting really creative with it. Because I think there's a lot of edge in being unique, um, and build alpha is essentially a tool, and it still takes the trader um, to find success.
All right, thanks, guys.